it is Thread Up Thursday, and Thread Up sent me another big fun box, so I have to open it, <laughs> find out what is going on. I'm kind of lucky this one even got to me because look at the label. It is literally peeling right off the box. Can you rip it off. I'll tell you where this one is from. Mechanicsburg. So let's get opening and see what is making this fun box so big. The last one that I opened on this channel, which I will link above, was also a larger one and it had kind of like a bamboo or wooden bag in it. It's the only reason that I can think of that that box in particular was large. Okay, so there we go. My box cutter is very old, so uh, sometimes it gives me a little bit of problems. Okay, let's get opening. For those of you who are new here or maybe have just recently subscribed, my name is Christina. I am a part-time reseller, Poshmark, eBay, and The Real World. And I love doing unboxings on this channel, talking about what's sold. I do some rehab videos, different things like that. So if you enjoy the video, make sure to drop me a thumbs up on your way out and subscribe to the channel. I'm super close to a thousand, so that'd be great. Okay, yes, fun box. You get 10 miscellaneous items. This one was $34. I know for a fact I have not purchased a fun box yet where I've had to pay shipping. So I don't know if this one was on sale or there was a day that I had a credit. Um, I may have used it with the credit. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, this one was ordered on October 17th, so recently. All right. There's your peek at the polka dot tissue. Take that off of the top. And there's no air pockets. This thing is full. Let me show you. And first of all, I do appreciate that there is no sticker on there so that I can reuse that tissue without having it be all ripped. Look at that. All right, let's grab this hat right off the top. We have kind of like a summer little fedora hat. This is by the brand Pineapple and Star, which I'm not familiar. So I will have to look that up. It does say it is in a size large, um, spot clean only. So I'm not sure about that. I have gotten designer brand hats before in the fun box, so it's not unheard of. Let's say most of them are like Target brands, but it does happen. All right, looks like we've got some swimwear. Okay, hold on, it's attached to something. Here we go. Got some swimwear, new with tags. We have a blue tie-dye top with some little white tassels on the bottom. A uh, cup sheet. I'm not familiar with this either. That's what it says. Nice, really thick tags. I don't see any pricing listed on here, so I will have to look this up. But it's in a triangle cut. And those tassels are adorable. On the um, along the bottom there and here's the size the tags are hanging off of it right here in a size small okay this is poking out so we'll grab this looks like a purse strap sometimes I've gotten zipper pulls and kind of like some little wristlet attachments I don't see any sort of branding on the hardware. I was kind of looking for a tag. We could see if it is a brand or if it's just an unbranded new purse strap. I may just hold on to this and use it for a bag that I've gotten that maybe needs a purse strap and doesn't have one. Okay, next, there's a little box. It's exciting. We've got bubble wrap. I try to show you all what I see because I want you like part of the unboxing with me. 
I love doing these, which is really why I started the channel. Um, so it's just fun. And I want you guys to be part of the fun. Okay. We have a pair of like hardcore cat eye glasses in a pink. These remind me of that monster in Monsters, Inc. Now I can't remember her name. <laughs> um, that she would wear these uh, types of glasses. I don't see any branding on these. So a pair of pink fashion glasses. And they didn't ruin my bubble little bubble pack, so that's great. I'm like surprised that they put it in this box though. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened. All right, let me give you all another pink so you can kind of see where we are in the box. We'll go next for these socks because they're grabbing my eye. Um, Iris Gone Socks Speak from Soul. And it says fishing on one side with the fish. And I'd rather be on the other side. Designed in Boston, one size fits all. So new in the package. This might have to be a little gift that I give to like my brother or dad because they love fishing. Okay. Slippers. All right. We have got a pair of J. Crew new tag furry slippers. Uh, looks like it's J. Crew Factory. These were originally $49.50, and they are in a size 10. So that is fabulous. J. Crew always does well in my closet, and especially new tags. Yes, please. So we have a little pink. Looks like the next item up is a bag. Looks like they have. I don't know, maybe three or four bags in here. Did I order a bag box and I didn't know? <laughs> okay, so let's talk about bags for a minute. Make sure to mark your calendars for Sunday, this coming Sunday, November the 5th, starting at 6 p.m. on Kristen D's channel. Um, I ordered one of the new Thread Up Louis Vuitton boxes and a few of my other reseller friends did too. And so we are doing a collab. It's going to go up as premieres so that you all can join us and chat with us live. So I am going on a little bit later. I will go over the schedule at the end of the video. I am just dying to open that box. It just arrived. So I think I'm going to film it after this, but I just can't wait to see what thread upset me. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> Fingers crossed because the box was expensive. All right. We have, I'm going to say this is like a belt bag, right? Fanny pack, if you will. And this is in like a faux crocodile print in a brown with gold tone hardware. There is a tag that says made in China. If there is an RN number on the back of it, I can look it up and see who made it. There is not. That's all it says is made in China. But it looks big enough, maybe, depending on the type of phone you have to put a phone in here, but at least some cards and a wallet. I would say that this is new without tags. Looks like it's never been used before. Okay. Next, we have a little wallet. A zip around black, it's got kind of a geometric pattern on it with a tassel gold tone hardware and a little heart. Look at that. Um, it does look like there is some wear on this, so I don't think it's brand new unless it's just from storage. But there is a little squishy pack in here, so maybe it's just from storage. It's got a coin compartment in the middle and some spots for cards. Again, no branding on this, but it is new, so that's pretty cool. A little wallet. Next, another bag. Oh, hello. Got some little pom-poms on this one. 
All right, we have like a little woven net bag. Um, and this one has some blue and white pom-poms attached to it. It almost looks like this is where the tag would have been um, for this bag. So I think that that's interesting. I don't see any sort of other paper tags in here, but this reminds me of like a reusable bag that sometimes people will use to do their shopping. So anyways, that's cute. That kind of goes with the hat. All right, I think this is the last item. <clears throat> and this is certainly why this box was so big. Oh my goodness. Ooh, okay. Look at this big old bag. This is, wow, a monster here. Okay, get this straightened out. We have a huge, huge tote bag. Faux leather. Got some little gold tone hardware. Um, there's an outer slip pocket. It's huge. This bag is actually quite heavy. We do have some branding on this one. It says Modern Picnic. So I am not familiar with that. I will have to look it up. It's got little feet on the bottom. Let's check the inside. Oh, there's a whole nother surprise in here. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> Here's the inside, super clean. Looks like this accessory snaps in here. Okay, and then we've got a zipper pocket here. There is a tag on the inside that says Made in China. Okay, so really large, in great condition um, tote bag. Wait a minute, maybe this is for a picnic because look at the inside of this. It's like what would be inside a lunch kit. How cool is that? And the zipper does say Modern Picnic. This is branded here, Modern Picnic. And this feels like, yeah, like a lunch kit. So that's cool. So this is like a picnic bag, except super chic. Uh, not your standard wicker that you would be toting out there. So I will have to look this up. I think this is really cool. So let's go over the number of items I got. We got the bag or a picnic bag for one. Little shopper tote two. Three, four. Slippers for five. Sock six. Purse strap, seven. Glasses for eight. Bikini top for nine. And this hat for 10. And the hat feels nicer than the standard hats that I usually get in this box. So I'm definitely going to have to look this one up and see if it's anything. Let me know what you guys think of this box. I thought this was a really good fun box. Now, I don't love when they throw like a bunch of one item in, so I don't love when I get like a bunch of bags, um, but I can at least do something with all of this, so I'm happy. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to drop me a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe. When I hit a thousand, I'm going to be doing another giveaway on this channel, and you don't want to miss that. All right, so again, make sure that on Sunday, if you're interested in watching that Louis Vuitton unboxing, that you join us. It is going to start at Kristen D's channel um, on Sunday, November the 5th at 6 p.m. Central, 7 Eastern, followed every 15 minutes. We're going to go fast because there's two bags and one accessory in that box uh, by Deborah, Timeless Jewel by Deborah. Then Janet and Bryn over at Happy Hour Haulers, Julie at My Mama and Me, me. So I'm going to be on at 7 Central, 8 Eastern. And then Lindsay Clark right after me. So make sure you join us for that. 
I can't wait to see that box. Hopefully, hopefully it's great. Um, and again, thanks so much for joining me on this Thursday. I will see you all again in a few. But wait, there's more. We are going to do a giveaway because from the time that I recorded the video to it being uploaded today, I reached a thousand subscribers. It is time to celebrate. So we are going to do another giveaway. Now, I did a giveaway um, when I reached 500 subscribers. I gave away a fun box. When I hit 750, I gave away a mixed jewelry box, both of those from ThreadUp. So for a thousand subscribers, I'm going to give you all a choice. The winner can pick between a ThreadUp mixed jewelry box, a ThreadUp fun box, or a ThreadUp DIY designer box. So whoever wins the giveaway, you can let me know which one you want. All of them will come unopened, whichever one you decide to pick, because I have kind of a back stock of ones I've ordered that I have not opened yet. And I will cover all the costs. So it, YouTube is not in any way involved in this giveaway. All you have to do to enter is make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment below. Everyone who does that will be entered in the giveaway. I will choose the winner a week from today. So entries will end next Wednesday, which is November the 8th. <laughs> I didn't think for a minute what day it was. November the 8th, midnight or 11.59 Central Standard Time. The following day on Thursday the 10th, I will draw a winner. I will then reply to your comment in this video, letting you know you won. So make sure next Thursday you come back to this video and check your comment to see if you won. Um, that comment, you will then email me, let me know you won, and I will get your mailing address to ship the box to. Uh, it's a party, so you can pick which of the three boxes you would like me to send you. So again, in order to enter, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and leave a comment below. That's all you have to do. I will cover all of the cost for the person that wins. Good luck, y'all. See you on Sunday for that Louis Vuitton collab unboxing.